Hello, Catherine. Hi, Gail. How are you? Good. Good. How are you doing? Sunny. Oh, I'm great. <laughs> it's sunny outside. I'm feeling good. Woohoo! I know. Um, if you live in the Northwest, you know that's rare. It is. You gotta love it when it comes to pass. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna take this bad boy apart. This is the compact. The, this is the K3 Touch. Yep, it's a touch. Um, it's a touch. And uh, you're gonna show me how to take it apart and clean it. I am. Care okay, for first it. off, shut your, if you happen to have any beans in here, which we don't, shut your gate valve and then take that bad boy off and throw it. <laughs> Two away. In the sink. <laughs> and wash it. And wash this it. This is a great opportunity yeah. to wash it. Of yeah, because they usually get nasty. So you need a, a flat blade. It's kind of nice. You pop this out of here. And what this is, is there's a screw down in there that prevents this uh, adjustment ring from going. It only goes so far. Oh, okay. It's the stop. There. There it stops there. And it goes around and stops in the same spot. It gives you just one rotation. Okay. So what that does is that, gets, that keeps you in the espresso range. But to take it apart, we need to take that screw out of there. So we're going to take that out, back it off. You can leave it in there. And then you're going to turn this clockwise until it comes out all the way. <laughs> uh, uh, firm. It will get easier as you go along. <clears throat> Some people think that this is a uh, stop for this. It is not. You see this little pin here? See that pin? Mm -hmm. That corresponds with a spot in the bean hopper to keep your bean hopper in. So if you screw that in, it's going to keep your bean hopper in there. Oh, so that's not your adjustment. Your yeah, adjustment is that is that collar, right? That's right. It's the collar itself. You just okay. turn the collar. And then the burrs go up or down. And you can see that this this down here is getting much broader. That means your, bean, your top burr is coming out. Uh, now, I haven't had this one apart, and this one's been in the showroom for a while, so... I hope it's going to give you some... A challenge? Yeah. Is that what you Yeah. Make life hard on me? No. Uh -huh. I just would hate for us to open it up and it's all squeaky clean when we're trying to show how to clean it. It might be squeaky clean. I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. Um, this one's hard the whole way. <laughs> so... There we go. One thing that um, you didn't show, because this one, we haven't used it in a bit. Um, oh, there we go. Is... Um, so if you had a grinder that was, you know, you were using, et cetera, you might want to vacuum it out. Absolutely. If there's beans down yeah, in there. Yeah, you take a shop stuff. vac and, in fact, I'm going to get the shop vac and we're going to even suck this one out. So if you want to pause for a second. Okay. Before you take this out, you could vacuum down there. We didn't happen to have any beans, but we're going to show you. Okay. <laughs> Basically, that gets just the initial residual junk out of there. Okay. okay. So here's your top burr. We took that off. And you can see it doesn't look too bad. Mm -mm. So what we're going to do is you clean it with a, you can clean it with a wire brush. And use I use a uh, brass mm -hmm. wire brush because if any of those little pieces are down in there, this is much softer. If any of these bristles fall out, plus brass will not rust. Okay. So it won't get in there and raise cane. So we just clean it out like that. We also use uh, compressed air if you happen to have it. And you want to get all these threads cleaned, everything. Gail, could I use compressed air if I don't have a shop vac when yep. to do the first round of cleaning sure. on this on the just on the bottom put burn? Put on your safety gal goggles it's gonna <laughs> blow up in your face. <laughs> so you just wanna get see this residual stuff in there, there's all around the screw. Get as much out as you can. Yeah, compressed air is our friend. Mm-hmm. And then if you want to get really fussy, you can take like a pick and get in here and loosen all that junk. But you know, at a certain point, it isn't worth worrying about the little fine points so much as it is getting the big chunks out. So, uh, we, you know, we've had this grinder for a while. It's gotten, yeah. you know, so so not a crazy amount of use, but a fair amount. Um, why, when would I need to change my burrs on this guy? Well... I can see on this one there is a little bit of wear on it. So you run your hand backwards mm -hmm. 
and if they start to feel dull, which these are starting to feel a little bit dull. Okay. And then the other thing you'll know, I don't know if you're going to pick it up in the camera, but there are some shiny spots here. Can you see those? Mm, maybe you could do the light. Or, yeah, can't super see them super well. They're little nicks. Okay. And when you see, see shiny spots, sh um, sharp surfaces are very sharp. They don't have any flat surfaces to reflect mm -hmm. the light. Mm -hmm. That's reflecting light. That means you got a little bit of a nick there. Okay. Not bad. I wouldn't worry about it just yet, but yeah, you know. If you start to see some inconsistency, I guess, in your grind. Exactly. Then, this okay. is like, this is only probably a quarter gone. Okay. And the same thing on this one down here. These are going to correspond. Whatever nick to this one is going to nick that one. So you would do the same thing down in here where... This is the shoe over in here. Kind of dislodge anything that's in there. And look, it's going to come out the other end. It's going to come out your chute eventually. Mm -hmm. Down in here, dislodge whatever you can. How often should I take these guys apart and do this, Gail? If you're using an oily bean, I would take this thing apart probably every couple of months or so. Uh, a non-oily bean every six months or so. And again, make sure you get stuff out of the threads in here. Okay. Out of these grooves. Well, we're in here. These paddles right here. Mm-hmm. The ground coffee exits the burrs and goes to these paddles. These paddles make the coffee go around and go to the chute and down mm -hmm. and dispense to you to fulfill your caffeine habit. <laughs> right? <laughs> So yeah, and the other thing that we recommend is if you're using an oily bean every couple of week, weeks, put a product called Grinds. It's a wheat-based byproduct, like okay. a little pellet. Throw those down there. Phenomenal stuff. It works really good. If you're not using an oily bean, something's a little drier, probably every month and a half or so. Okay. I'm going to just suck that up. <laughs> doesn't have a little uh, hopper for the ground, so I need to do anything with this chute here. Well, you know what I did before we ever filmed, I was looking at it and I went, mm. it went like this. <laughs> you cleaned it out. I cleaned it out. It had a little residual and I wiped yeah. over it. You know, I just generally wipe the thing down. But okay. Looky. <laughs> <laughs> nice. The, there you go. If okay. that was, if that was um, all clogged, this is actually, see my finger going in? See, yeah. See down in there? That's where the ground coffee goes for. There's so a little could, rubber dam there. Okay. So you could kind of get a, the brush down in there and yep. and vacuum it or compress air it out as well. Yep. Compress air works really well. Um, and then I guess just a general wipe around on this guy. This That's guy right. happens to have a polished finish. There's some painted finished ones too. Not Windex. quite as, yeah, Windex yeah, on any them. Any kind of window cleaner or, you know, general surface cleaner. Okay. I wouldn't put anything that's too caustic on this aluminum, it'll etch it. Okay. But just a general cleaner like that. Okay, so now we got this all wiped out. With our micro rag. Mm -hmm. uh, don't forget, this is, this is a reverse thread. Oh, okay. What have I got going on here? Gotta make sure I got it right. Oh, it's got little grooves that you have to start it at? Yep. Oh, okay. Just make sure you're lined up and then just put it back down and turn it until, and I will, we can pause on this if you want, mm -hmm. but you turn it until you go down to the two burrs are meeting. Okay. And then back it off a little bit, put that screw back in. Let's, let's roll it down. Okay. Okay, so this is the screw that I took out initially. That's your stop. What that bumps against to stop is this little uh, bolt mm -hmm. down in here. Can mm -hmm. you see that? Yeah. Okay, so what you do before you put the screw back in, you take this down all the way until... Oops, I'm going the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Don't let me do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Lucy, who, righty tighty, lefty Lucy, just the opposite on this. Okay. So you're taking it all the way down till they touch so that you can't turn all the it way. anymore. Okay. Now, 
the stop is over here. I know that. Yeah. And the screw is here. You want to take this back until the screw is on the other side of the stop. Now I'll put it down. Now you are going to stop over here. Okay. And then you're going to stop on the other side. You're within that espresso range again. And so okay. what, um, we found that if you took it up even just one thread. If you took one rotation too much up, the stop, this screw does not hit the stop. So it you just keeps going and going. You know you're in the wrong spot. Okay. Yep. Put the cap back on. Put your bean hopper back on, put your tray back in, and you're good. We're ready to you rock. Plug her in and put some beans in it, and you're ready to go. Cool. All right. Mm -hmm. um, so that's so you, cleaning the... If you found your burrs, we didn't talk about this, but if you mm -hmm. found that your burrs really are in tough shape, they're replaceable. They each have Those a couple screws, screws in them. Take the screws out, put them back in. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Only cost you a couple of bucks. Cool. All right. So All right. that's cleaning the um, compact K3 touch. That's it. Thank you very much, Gail. You're welcome.